OM goodness chat. Let's do this thing. How are y'all? Wow. That was a podcast. <clears throat> My throat is shot. We went berserk. It was wild. It was a wild show. We have a lot of subs this morning. Big sub day. Let's go. Two hands of blue. 31 months of subbing. Quinny, seven months of subbing. Let's go. Mafia Geek, 22 months of subbing. Great Scott, 12 months. A year's worth of pen addict addiction. Let's go. Lady Tamir, 19 months. Hard to believe. I'm with you. Michelle PT, 24 months. Let's go. Did we get them all? Oh, we got them all. Nice. How are y'all? How are y'all? <clears throat> the sun has set, but my sun is rising. Here we go. The great ambassador of orange. What what pen did you get the whoa wrong camera wrong what pen did you get the other day that was so cool? I, I gave you a fire emoji, but what was it? I've already forgot. All I know I was like super fire emoji. Casual Thursday on a Wednesday. Let's go. <laughs> Homesick with food poisoning. No. Hope you're past the worst of it. Mafia Geep. Hope you feel better soon. Spore 10 months of summon. Oh yeah, the uh the um the orange marble one. God, that is sick. Yeah, that is sick. That was a good that's a good pen. That's a good pen. Field notes drop day. Trying to decide whether to read the release email or be surprised. Ooh, I have not seen it yet. So let's not let's hold that surprise. Oh, that's right. You were at Yaseka. Nice. Very nice. Man, we had a podcast today, chat. Um, but I got myself on the wrong, wrong start. Love the messy start of the live show. Two pensioners talking about their leaky pens. So yeah, so this is where we're at, chat. This is where we're at, chat. Yesterday was my sick day. Got flu and COVID shots on Monday and recovered yesterday for COVID. Man, people are getting sick all around. I got family sick. I got friends sick. Um, all kinds of stuff. So new field notes looks nice. That's all I'll say. They've, they've been on a good run here recently. Lots of fun stuff. So I will check that out. Plotter delivery day. Nice. What did you get? So again, apologies. I am chewing a mint right now just because my throat was just parched because we went crazy on the podcast today. It was really, really good. New watch? No, old watch that I'm getting used to. So I have two old watches that I wear. One was that Seiko y'all saw, um, and this is another one. This is like a Timex. This is like, a, what did I get this? Todd Snyder. But I just thought it was a cool, I just thought it was a cool looking watch. You know, this is like a $90 watch, right? I think it's just cool looking. So I'm trying to get used to the non-digital watch thing to see if I can do it. I still use um, the digital, like when I play pickleball or travel or stuff, but I'm trying to do, do a regular watch uh, otherwise. So we'll see. We'll see. All right. Y'all see anything new here, chat? See anything new here? We just cleaned this damn, oop, this darn thing. Brooks, 42 months of subbing. Let's go. I did not hydrate enough. I hope you're doing well, Brooks. <clears throat> so let me... Um, let me uh, let me show show you what else we got here. Let me just show you. Yeah, clearly the map ain't one thing. So like, I'm very thankful for the map, right? But now I'm just like, the carbon black is not gone. I just moved it to the other side. So the carbon black is over here. I showed it yesterday. So guess where we're at, chat? What do y'all think's happening here? Looking clean today. Thank you. Like keeping it basic today. Black set sweatshirt, khakis. So, mad science. Friction cap is sucking ink out. I am not happy right now, chat. So I guess I'll, I will show you this as I get to it. <clears throat> so I guess I have to like slow play this out of here because this is an o-ring cap right and the cap when you seal it has like a pressure release right it has a hole in it right so it has a hole in it but i have just shot ink everywhere if you uncap it quickly it's just it, it's like if I would do a twist pull. Yeah, so now I just need to clean it out a little bit and and be more careful, 
right? Like I wasn't thinking about it, right? And like, it's gonna bug me if ink's up in there. So we're gonna get that out real quick. This is just me being me. Your high, no notification. Interesting. I mean, that's a very twitchy thing to do. So we're going to do this and then we're gonna practice opening it, opening it nicely. This is the Mad Science Penco. We're gonna have to practice. You can't open this pen without thinking about it. What's up, Ruben? So we shot, again, <laughs> when you have pressure, right, it intends to shoot the ink forward into the cap. So that's what we had here. Brad, you should not have to think about taking the cap off. I knew this going into it, right? So I can't say I wasn't prepared. The first time I ever uncapped one of these, I, the O-ring came out, right? And I knew, right, like it's got the hole in here, right? This is the pressure release, right? What's the positive of the pen? It's cool looking. It has a massive converter built in, or not built in, but it's built to use that. I like the shape, I like the design, but like, I'm just like, and I wanted to use that, um, that new dominant industry, Monet ink with it, cause I thought that was a good match. So, um, yeah. So I need to practice capping and uncapping this. I have to twist gently on mine. It's just that kind of pen. Uh, when you uncap, right? So like, I almost worry about capping it too fast too, right? Because the breather hole will get through, will get into the barrel quickly if I cap too fast. And that's a pressure point. And then uncapping uncapping releases the pressure and it just slings so needless to say if i review this pen there will be a lot to say which is usually a good usually a good review when you have a lot of things to say both good and bad right we need you to re-engineer this for them there there's there's no there's not a solution i mean then if you redesign it, it's a different pen. And like, there's a point to this pen, right? Like, I wonder if they could add a small bladder diaphragm to help absorb the air pressure and vacuum. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So again, I knew this going into it. I knew this going into it. But when you're, like if I have this pen on the desk and I'm wanting to take a quick note. I'm not trained to go slow, right? I just unpopped it and you can see it just shot everywhere. Like just random ink everywhere. I was like, where does this even come? Like, how did I, I don't even know. You gotta have a poot hole in the back. Well, there is no back. It would have to be here, right? It would have to be almost like around here. Right. Yeah, this is so Bork Ben Bork. This is why you read reviews before you buy. This is actually why I review pens, right? Because there's a lot of cool stuff about this pen, but like this is not a pen that a lot of people will have experience with. And like you saw how look. You saw how loose, like, this is a problem. This is a legitimate problem. Did you see how loose I just took that out? And that's what just happened. Did you see how smoothly I uncapped that? And look. So the Schoen Ultim Peak is a different situation. That one, it will actually, like, get a little bit in the cap when it bounces around, but it, it's a threaded pin. And, um... It did better. So like I like now I'm flummoxed. Nib seated properly on feed. I mean I could take it all apart. 
it has to be seated if it's that juicy. That has to be a tight. Uh, I think it's getting ink in the cap from the capping action. Yeah, from the going on, not the coming off, right? That's what I was thinking. Because I'm never, I'm sealing, I'm sealing the release before I'm done capping, right? So I'm not having the opportunity to release when I'm capping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will definitely let them know. Like, it's the last thing it needs is a sponge in the cap. So I wonder if I need to twist. So look, it's back. I just cleaned that off, chat. Yeah, something's happening here. That is not something I can get past. It's a technical issue. So, like, I keep cleaning this off so we can see it. So, like, all right, clean nib. All right. We're clean. So, I'm going to do a little twist when I put it on. Oh, no, 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 no. Swap aquatic toaster. Yeah. And then I'm going to go super slow with a little twist pulling it off. I might not have cleaned out the cap well enough. That could be on me on that one. I probably didn't clean the cap on that one. I need a new. It needs to be threaded, not with O-rings. Yeah. It's a champagne cork. So let me clean up. I didn't clean out the cap the last time. So I'm going to see how. Oh, well, there wasn't hardly anything in there. All right, let's do this one more time. And hell, I can send Jacob this, this VOD just as we're messing with it. All right, so we're clean, right? Clean. All right, and the cap, I just, I just uh, paper toweled out the cap. All right, on, I'm being very careful removing it. I'll do a slight twist off. It's unusable. Okay, tell me how to do better than I just did. Tell me what to do, chat. So that's the clip. I can't do better than that. So now I'm going to clean this pin out and email Jacob. I can't do better than I just did. That was the best. That was the best I could do. <clears throat> Ring the pink with pin with base tape blue. All right. Well, good. At least I can be done now. Drill a hole in the cap. Yeah. So it has the side valve here, right? But the it gets sealed. So there's the side, the cap valve, but it gets sealed. Yeah, I need to look at the site. But I, what recommendation could I have just used to not, like I could not have gone any slower, gone with a twist, Try to reseat one more time. So I should reseat the nib, maybe. But it looks like it's pretty well seated. Like, I can't twist it anymore, and I can't push it anymore. So what I'll probably do is probably clean it. And um, maybe fill it with water. <clears throat> 
you mentioned in the podcast that Inky Rock's tips review was dangerous. What was the most tempting item that she mentioned? The most tempting item she mentioned, the most tempted I was, was to pour my ink into a coffee cup. Yep. It's trapping enough air to create pressure when you push the cap all the way down, then you uncap it, sucking out the ink. Right. So, like, I like I think I'm just done. That last was, was telling. So, I'm just going to cap it, and we're done. All right, we're done. Like, I'm just going to have to... I'm going to clip that, send it to Jacob, and ask him what... Uh, this can totally be solved. How? With just another air. Yeah, but he sold enough of these pens where, like, I, I don't... Why is mine different? Why would mine be different? So, I don't know. I'll let him know. I'll send him that last little bit of video. Because this pen is cool. Do we need anyone else with this pen? Um, Zane's dad is where I tried my first one. Are they different though? I have no idea, but you would think this would be, he sells enough pens to where someone's going to know. You're not having a good week with pens? I'm having a great week with pens. How can you not have a, a good, yeah, surely this is, this isn't something random, right? I'm just, I'm wondering what, I, am I missing something? Like, I feel like I'm missing something. That's why I didn't buy one like right from the jump because it's weird enough that I wanted to see it. So this is a cool pen. I want it to work. So everyone gets benefit of the doubt. I think the O-rings need to be modified so they don't form a full seal like the Vertex that has a triangle or O-ring to prevent that. I could remove the O-rings. I don't know if it would see if it would seed at all. And how quick it would dry out. So this isn't meant to like come down on this pen. I just got frustrated. I literally inked this up. Looks like it's nah, it's okay. Love it when a pen conversation. I, I want to, if you try it, remove remove the lower one. Okay. I, I'm done messing with it today. But I, I can I will do with that later. I'm out of I'm out of paper towels. <sighs> Any maker slip caps besides this one out there? It seems like it. Last ditch, pull the feet out of the housing. Yeah, I will reseat. I'm gonna clean it and reseat the whole thing. I'm a small version with the same cap towel. Just got here, so not sure what happened. I've had trouble with the cap being hard to remove, but not slinging ink. Mine is eye droppered. Hmm. So I have the converter. Um. Yeah, I can't uncap it without sending ink into the cap. Drill a small hole in the end of the cap. I had almost wanted in the back of the barrel. So we'll play around with it. We'll see what's up. We'll I'll I'll shoot Jacob a message. Um so we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, I just uh I just un I just inked it right before the podcast. So like I'm still like processing it. Wouldn't your ink just dry out if you did that? Possibly. My wife's printing something apparently. All right, what else? What else should we talk about? <laughs> what else should we talk about? All right. So anyway, to just to put a bow on this, I want this pen to work. I like this pen. My wife likes to print while we're streaming too. <laughs> I am streaming. No, I'm good. Oh, she was just. Oh, she doesn't care about y'all. She was waiting until the podcast was done. She didn't want to bother with the podcast. She's cool screwing with the stream. That's essentially what she just told me. Is that accurate? Yes, that's accurate. <laughs> Chat says you're rude. 
<laughs> oh, no, understandable, understandable. Yes. Um, yeah. You just So basically, you wanted to, you didn't want to make Mike upset, but you're okay with making me upset. Okay, yes, also yes. <laughs> she loves me, she loves me, Chad, she loves me. She's gone. She's gone now. She didn't want to cease and desist from Mike. <sighs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, right? Before I forget, Kurotoga Dive on AliExpress for just 97 euros. Which color? So I got my blue one out. I always have to have, um, when I talk about products, I always kind of like have to have the one here. She, she actually could wax poetic about inner gels, especially the color ink inner gels. Orange, $97. Wow. If she cared, she'd pop into the camera to say hello. I mean, that clearly shows that she does not care. Doesn't care, chat. <sighs> Let's do a giveaway or something. Like, I, I, need a, I need a brain reboot. Look at that. I just washed this. Did Mike send Toby a cease and desist? He barely heard it. So. All right. Let's do this. So when I talked about the podcast today, we talked about the new Unicuratoga dive. If you weren't on here and I talked about maker pens. So like this is this, I, I have to put all this stuff next to me when I do the podcast. It's like this and the Kuratoga dive are all next to me. So I was talking about that and then talking about the maker pens, even though like when I was talking about this pen, like I had to ha I have to have it in my hand when I was talking about it. You need to make an ink proof mouse pad. I should just have, it's just plastic. Just get my, uh, get my cutting mat back. Does Mike still edit the pen addict? It is the only podcast he edits now. Correct. Uh, because it takes him like five minutes because we don't ever screw up. Well, actually he screwed up the ad read today. Re-recorded it. He'll snip that out. It's probably already in your podcast feeds. It's the only show he edits now. All right. I'm going to find a giveaway item. Cutting mat stain shoe. That's true. I have stains on mine. But that at least doesn't bother me. Mike lost it today. Y'all will, will thoroughly enjoy the podcast today. We're probably going to get emails about the podcast today. <laughs> Probably going to get emails about the podcast today. Oh, boy. I'm exhausted mentally. What are we doing, chat? All right, let's do this. I need to give away some notebooks, too. Oh, yeah, we got this. Nice. New Field Dodes Edition, yawn. No spoilers. We've already had the opposing view as well. If it's yawn, that means I probably like it. Just like that birch one. I'm in. I'm in. All right. Field Notes doing... And sailors should do a collab. They should do one pen and one notebook release a week for the entire year of 2024. Where are the photos for the new Kuratoga? Hang on, I'll grab them. Are they in the... Mike should have them in the show notes too. Saved. Right there. Bought a bunch of the fold again. Those are nice. I mean, this looks amazing. My point today on the podcast is, will anyone be able to get it? So, we'll see. It's iridescent, too. Not only is it purple, it's iridescent. Cramp, Charlie horse. It's 
great, right? And you can kind of see right there on the edge that some of the, the green is coming through right through here. It's really hard to see. Looks like a colorway that Spoke needs. I mean, we did this in the Axle once. It was super popular. Yeah, there are only, only two available. <laughs> you still pickling? Multiple times a week. Always pickling. Already paid too much for an orange one and done. Yeah, I have my blue one, and I think I'm good. But it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, let's do a giveaway. All right, so what we have here are some pen attic notebooks. And since it's a very inky day, I wanted to do some very inky pens. So we're going to do this, this set of uh, notebooks we made for one of the Kickstarter projects we did. This has the cool... Um, not co dot dash lines orange orange graph and then these friction needles i know i found a bunch when i was cleaning out those knock boxes they're really good so we'll give away this whole set of these frictions are 4.0 up uh, point well, that would be wide 0.4 millimeters and then they erase into an alternate color so it's an emerald pen and when you erase it it becomes mint and what else do we have? Oh, these are these are Barney pens. So these are in the Barney series, the ILM, ILY series. I forgot that. So this is the Barney pen series. And this one is wine red to gray. I think this is the one I like the most. This is a cool set for sure. Wine red and gray. Camera's not picking it up. Whatever. Grape to lavender. I know y'all can't see this. And then cherry to peach. This was a cool one too. I like the cherry to peach. But I think I like the purple to gray one. Yeah, the color changing is new. And they did this in the ILM, ILY lineup. So they do, they do, um, it's m more fun in the marker set that they did. So they did a marker set for these. This is a little bit harder to see in the 0.4 millimeter gel. Right, the 0.4 millimeter tips, or are they five millimeter? Does it say anywhere? Four, there it is. Four millimeter. Whatever. So yeah, the markers were actually pretty cool. What's the orange notebook? So it's this special run of pen and notebooks we did. So we have the emboss logo on this craft orange paper. It's got this texture on it, and then it has an orange uh, dot dash grid. These, these are nice. These are good notebooks. I kept once I found some of these, I kept some for myself because I like using these so much. So let's do a giveaway for the pens and the notebook set all together. Uh, and I, the more I think about it, these pens probably wouldn't be good on the notebook because they're so fine and these lines are orange. But you can find a good use for the note for them separately. All right. Let's do this. Pick a purple plumes with the gifted subs to Rytherin. Thank you so much. Enjoy yourself. Why didn't it alert? Bling. All right. This giveaway is open. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win. All you got to do is type exclamation, exclamation point raffle. You must be present to win. You don't have to be a follower, a member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide. We have been on the worldwide kick. That is for sure. What do we have? Do we have Norway or Finland? We had one of the Scandinavian countries last week. Forgot it's Wednesday again. Boom. 
Barney pins. <laughs> Dual shading, friction, and pen and ink notebooks. That is correct. Here we go. 0.4 millimeter dual shading Barney pens from Pilot, and then a set of some OG, <clears throat> OG pen attic notebooks. All right, I'm trying to see if there's any one new we should raid today. I'm not ready to go yet, but I'm gonna have to go soon. <clears throat> My wife beat me in world today, rip. Let's see, let's see. We got one chat. Miss G's Crafty's already in there. All right, <clears throat> sorry, a little bit distracted. Anyone know an online retailer for the Kurtoga Dive? Never happens. Yoseka had some, is the only one I've seen. I think. All right, let's pick a winner. Inky, biostatistician. You are the winner. Are you a first time winner? Oh, and software defined redneck. I finally said it right after your email. <laughs> Inky, biostatistician. First time, that's what I was thinking. We're on a first time kick. Nice. Let's see if I can write this all in one line here. All right, we got it. <clears throat> Jetpins has never had them, as to my knowledge. Zero wind club shrinking. I like it. I like it. Yoseka does have the Kaveco Art Sports. We'll put that on the show for next week. That'll be good. Or maybe on the gift guide episode. Um, that pop. You know me. You know me. All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap it here, chat. It's been a long podcast. It has been a long, aggressive podcast. <laughs> it's been a busy morning. So we're going to go raid here, the Thea. Miss G's is already cheating on me. She's already over there. Let's see how it is. I'm a blooming pen addict, curry and biostatistics program. Nice. That's super cool. She was on first. Lies. Definitely a lie. Completely a lie. All right. Y'all go have fun. I've lost my I've lost lost the plot today. We'll be back tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern. Be there. I don't know what we're doing. We'll figure something out. Maybe I'll make more of an inky mess. Bye. Or not buy. I hit the wrong button. How about not yet? Not yet. How about now? Bye.